This video is brought to you by Coursera. Explore more about cybersecurity using Coursera's free career guide and find top programs from Google, Microsoft, IBM, and more that you can try their seven day free trial with. More on this in a few moments. Here in front of me is a sample cybersecurity resume. I believe this resume highlights the important skills entry level career applicants should acquire or have when applying to cybersecurity jobs. In today's video, I will overview these skills and why I think they are important. Now, you can and should customize your resume to your particular skill sets and keywords listed on a job posting. Now, no, I am by no means an expert myself. I am an associate security engineer, don't have tons of years of experience. Every position inside cybersecurity is going to require a specific set of qualifications, but here are just some specific skills that I would recommend that you take a look into if you're an entry-level career applicant. For this particular resume, I want to focus on the key skills in project section. Everyone's going to have a different education and experience background, but these particular sections we can all focus on to help improve our chances of landing a job. So starting out with the key skills section, you'll find that this is a pretty relatively simple list. Write down a bullet point or two talking about the, your foundational understanding of networking technologies, such as the TCP IP stack, important network protocols, and just overall IT infrastructure. It's important to know the fundamentals of IT, specifically computer networking, and how this all powers our underlying ecosystem. Having a solid understanding of network protocols and network technologies will uh, really be helpful for you in your career and is often required and tested in different interviews. In a bullet point talking about your solid understanding of programming concepts and maybe some experience with particular languages that you have learned. In this sample resume, it's Python, Bash, and PowerShell. Scripting and programming languages are used to help augment your overall workflow, including writing integrations, automating various different tasks, alerts. It can be a lot of different things, but ultimately uh, showing that you have a solid understanding is a unique skill set that you can have and uh, again is often required for specific jobs in security. Next, write a bullet point or two talking about the various technologies that you've had previous experience with, even if it's in a home lab environment, uh, particularly the Splunk SEM SPL language and writing detection alerts is in this sample resume. Any previous use or knowledge of working with popular cybersecurity tools can be important to show to employees, even if the company uses a different vendor they're all kind of work in the same way. Uh, so it is good to list the tools that you have had experience with if you have done any of that. Next, write a bullet point or two listing the operating systems that you have interfaced with and have previous domain knowledge of. Uh, particularly, it's important that you have some experience perhaps with Linux and the Windows ecosystem. These are both foundational technologies that you must learn, and even just having a general basic knowledge like I do right now is important to list here. So in, in front of me, you can see that you have the basics of the Linux kernel, writing IP table rules, or even just writing some basic shell scripts, navigating the shell. And then maybe in the Windows ecosystem, learning about Windows Active Directory. Both of these skills and operating system knowledge, even if it's basic, can go a long way. For the project section, I do recommend you add this particular section if you have no previous experience in cybersecurity. A project section demonstrates your aptitude and commitment and dedication to self-study and going outside the classroom to actively build your own skill set. This can make you look unique among other entry-level candidates and graduates. Write three to five bullet points overviewing various projects that you have worked on, and these projects can be anything from university projects, side projects in general, research papers, GitHub uh, contributions, or even just your cybersecurity home lab. Here in front of me, there are three bullet points. One is talking about the cybersecurity home lab that this individual has created, maybe writing a final year research paper, and then actively participating in some CTF competitions. 
All three of these show that you're willing to go outside the classroom and really take the proactive approach in your career to build your skill set. And this can just be a unique little project section that you can have at the end of the resume. And I do recommend for those of you who don't have previous experience to add a projects section. If you're just beginning in the cybersecurity industry or you're trying to improve your skill set, how can you acquire these skills? There are plenty of learning resources out there and it can be difficult to discover which one is right for you. Now, one resource I do recommend checking out is Coursera. Coursera is a learning platform which hosts online courses and certificates taught by top universities and companies. It offers access to thousands of courses for free or affordable price plans, including the uh, certificate programs offered in this particular video. For cybersecurity on Coursera, you can find several high quality structured learning programs, which can help you get started in the industry. Full transparency, today's video has been sponsored by Coursera, which hosts these certificate programs. I have not completed all of these programs before, but I'm gonna to try to provide as transparent review as I possibly can. I do recommend exploring Coursera's free cybersecurity career guide and learning more about the top programs taught by Google, Microsoft, IBM, and learning more by signing up for their subsequent seven day free trial. Cybersecurity certificates taught on Coursera, such as the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate, the Microsoft Cybersecurity Analyst Professional, and the IBM Cybersecurity Analyst Professional Certificates, all provide structured learning and good approaches to getting started within this industry. So as highlighted before, there are several key skills you can work on to help boost your resume, including learning programming languages such as Python, the foundations of cybersecurity, use of security tools, and understanding the different types of attacks. Sourcing the programming languages and security tools suggestions from this sample resume, you can sign up for the Google Cybersecurity Professional Certificate as an example, and learn the foundations of programming, specifically Python, Bash, SQL, and with the security tools, you can work with SEMs and IDSs. All of these technical skill sets are very beneficial to your career. On Coursera, you can find courses which help you build these necessary skills for your resume, and you can even find some for free. When you complete the Coursera certificate programs, you can add these certificates to your resume as well as add the LinkedIn badge to your LinkedIn profile. I do recommend taking a look at the certificate programs I highlighted before, which are taught by Google. Microsoft, and IBM. All three of these certificate programs provide a hands-on practical approach to getting started in cybersecurity while acquiring those necessary skills and help really solidifying your learning. These programs require no previous experience and are designed to help you get started within this industry from the ground up. You can get started with Coursera by exploring that career guide and signing up for one of the subsequent seven day free trials as mentioned before. Uh, and this is attached in the video description. So onto the resume format. Resume formats may vary and you'll probably get a diverse amount of answers with how you should format your resume. Overall, the advice that I've received and the advice I continue to relay is that to keep your resume simple and easy to read. I recommend providing your contact information at the top of the resume, followed by a mission statement overviewing the position you are attempting to seek in the industry and maybe any previous experience you have. Next, you can add your previous year's experience, maybe any particular internships you have completed, uh, followed by your education and qualifications. Here you'll list your uh, academic degrees if you have any, and certifications or certificates that you have acquired uh, and then followed by your key skills and projects section. Ultimately, this format provides an easy to read, concise overview of your professional experience, education, key skills, and projects, which can be used to talk about further in your interview. And you can expand upon all of these bullet points here. Hopefully this video has been insightful in showing you how you can build your cybersecurity resume and some necessary skills that professionals and employees are looking for when they're parsing through resumes. Uh, so yeah, until the next video, have a good day and keep at it.